What's up guys, it's Real Toxic. I'm back here again with another episode of RuneScape 3 from Square One. So, this episode took me two weeks to get out, and I want to explain that real quick. I've been... I haven't had that much time to play, um, because I've been between school and lacrosse and the marking period ending, so I was really focused on that, kinda. <clears throat> but I, I did... Spring break has just started, so I'm going to have a lot of time this week to play. I'll make a lot of progress this week. Um, in the last two weeks of progress, though, I've been really just working on one thing, and that's been doing my farming runs. And then in all the time that I'm not doing farming or my daily stuff, I'm just doing fletching. For whatever reason, I just kind of fletched and then wanted to keep going so now I'm going for 99 at the end of this video you'll see me get to level 96 so I'm I'm pretty close and it's much faster than um, the other methods or the other 99s that I have currently while I've been playing on this in the last two weeks I've been playing on my other account my main account so I can show off that account a little bit it's got a higher total level than this one but it's only got 99 magic and health So if if you want to see that just let me know um, I did come to the end of that Zamorak event Zamorak medallion event So I did small boxes and then a couple of big boxes on On this account. I also did it on the other one while I was playing um, basically the me I'm working on maxing this account the other account, I'm really working on making like a perfect PVMing account because that one's already started and there's already a lot of stuff that I don't have that I want. But on this account that you've seen progress on, it's it's been thorough. I've been getting everything done with the exception of maybe the, uh, the Memorial to Guthics D&D while I was doing Divination. So, I put all of my XP and all of my bonus XP on Herblore because I know later down the road, until level 88, I don't have a plan for how I'm going to train it and that skill is going to be really annoying to train. And then I did a little bit on summoning too, but summoning's a worse idea because I'm a much lower level in it. After... <clears throat> After I get 99 fletching, the big I, I rewatched like some of the first videos that I posted, and the goal that drove those videos was unlocking curses. So I kind of want to re, I, I want to re get into that after I get the levels done for for Plague City. I want to get into getting all the levels done for the the curse curse prayers and then hopefully get that to 95 as soon as I possibly can because I do have 95 on the other account and let me tell you makes PVMing much easier I also want to start building up loyalty points better I think I build them up better if I use the bond before my membership actually runs out so I'm trying to build up loyalty points so I can get things like vampirism and penance before I actually start really getting heavy into PVM. What I'm hoping is I'm going I want to get 99 in all the hard skills, all the annoying skills so that I can just spend time having fun PVMing all the way until my heart's content. They have released 120 Slayer recently, so I'll be going for 120 Slayer, I think, once I start doing it, which will be down the road. Um, I actually did finally sell my loot from 200 Quarm Seeds and the, uh, the Viswax I had gotten every day, and that made enough money to buy the bond, so that's probably what I'll keep up with is just doing Herb Runs and Viswax. And that will be enough to get um, to get bonds every two weeks. I only do some of the daily challenges, 
so like all the buyable skills i'll do those daily challenges because they're typically really easy and i can do it all based off the grand exchange with uh daily challenges like smithing those ones are really annoying because you have to do artisan's workshop and they take like half an hour for every smithing challenge but things like herb lore just make 10 potions or whatever things like prayer bury 10 bones things like dungeoneering um do a dungeon all those are pretty good and I'll, I'll do those i have actually toggled off the uh, 99 skill challenges so i can't get any more rune crafting divination or fire making challenges which is which i thought was smart throughout this two weeks i did happen to get flow i was at about 9 million experience when i got flow the fletching pet i just saw a bunch of people saying grats then I looked in my bank and I saw an extra item that I wasn't used to seeing. So I scroll really far up in my chat. I actually missed it by a lot. I scroll really far up in my chat and I see that I got the Fletching Pet. So that was, that made me pretty darn happy. But anyway, that's been it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.